Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 15 of my Subnautica Season 2 Let's Play. We are still in the prawn room, about to make our way into the living quarters. I've got to get on this, and then i got to get up on that, and then run across, holy shit. Alright. And then run up here. Alright, we got fire. We got a bar table. Definitely want to scan that shit. Thank you guys and girls for all tuning in on this episode. Holy shit, that is the longest scan in the history of scanning. I'm on fire. You, you for real? Get out. Oh my god. <sighs> wow, how convenient. I needed one of those. What do they want me to scan? Single wall shelf. Oh, I definitely gotta have one of those. Gotta, 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 gotta have it. Give me it. Thank you. What does this say? Suspicious keyword D restricted detected beginning automatic recording. Support crew, you picked that up when we docked with the Mongolian mining station. How much was it? Trader, 3,000 credits, including the extras and a counterfeit operator's license. No way the Mongolians gave up a D restricted battery charger for just $3,000. It's called negotiation. You should have learnt it in school. Didn't move to Altera till I was 16. Negotiation class is younger. It looks like the Altera charger I have at home. Does your charger have these ridges on the side? Ridges means no Altera restrictions. I heard the Altera's model's more reliable. Looks better too. Probably want to take that with me. Because I probably end up using it. Vending machine! Yes! And they actually work since that, that uh, castles and coffee update. Awesome. It's actually pretty much just free food, those things. Like, literally free like, literally free food. Ooh, nutrient block. I love how there's no model for it yet. I wouldn't think it would be that hard to model, would you? I'll just drink the filtered water. Oh, there's more nutrient blocks. Hell yeah. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Nothing relevant there. Narrow bed. Also, especially good to get the beds now because you can sleep through the night time. Thank God. Relationship contract legal recording. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want you to change our relationship. Huggins, I hear what you're saying and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like you, I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that to zero? You're dumping me? I'm changing the terms of our relationship. Is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? Of a kind, you have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with those guys in the leisure deck. I feel hostility in what you're saying, and that jealousy is a possessive emotion. Why can't you be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for you for the guys on the leisure deck. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our relationship. Wow. Wow. Don't I have one of those? Meh. I don't really need it, to be honest. I'm not going to die without it. If I could not take damage, that would be great. Hmm. Open storage. Nada. Although... What is it? Boom, 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 boom. Wait. Okay. 
Actually, what I could do, right, is I drop this, pick this stuff up. I'm doing this backwards, by the way. And then we... Fine. Fuck. I can't cuss upside down. Son of a bitch. Are you serious? That's still not enough room? Pick up the luggage bag. Drop said luggage bag. Okay. How do I get into the storage? Okay, I can get into the storage now. Alright, now we open the storage. And we boopity boop. Uh, put the signals in there, the storage modules, not the scanner. Uh, the batteries, the titanium. Oh, well, we can pick up the luggage bag now. And that saved us zero inventory space because I'm a fucking idiot. Because the... Uh, it doesn't matter. Because it's the exact same size. I, I thought it took up four slots when it takes up six or eight or whatever now. That's stupidly annoying. All out. Get out! Alright. Now someone said I could get in here. Was it this door? I believe it was this door. Can I open? It doesn't look like I can grab anything. Is there anything in here I don't have that I will need? I won't really need this, but I'll use it. Mm, another battery. Is there anything in the storage? Like, that would be a cool way to hide some stuff, but I guess not. Hmm. Alrighty. So, I don't remember whether this door was a thing, but I should be able to get in there. Um, where codes? Sweet offer. 1869. Hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, I could get in here. I remember this room. I never put that toy down last season either. I just remembered. I thought I put it down, but I didn't. I do remember never putting it down. I remember having it the whole time. I just remember not putting it down. Open, open supply crate. Yeah. Oh, bed one. Bigger bed. Bigger bed. Bigger bed. Captain gets a good bed. Captain gets a good bed. Hurry up and scan, please, so I can read this PDA. Thank you. Forward by Robert Eklund. All the good things in life are, com are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value. Be that support, motivation, challenge, learning, nothing good is ever for free. If every physical good in the galaxy came from a single supplier, that would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. Further, if someone finds a better source of the goods they require, they should be free to add it to or replace their existing supplier. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing comp competitively. There is always room for improvements. I wish I wouldn't fuck up the sentencing on that. It's just misread- like, it's not misreading, it's just not looking at it properly. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything in here. I still don't think we can get into this one. I don't think there is a code for this, sir. I'm pretty sure. I mean, did you want to, uh, try something? 
We can check to see if there's anything on the other side. Ooh, there is. Ooh. Wait a minute. There's a fucking PDA here and everything. Wait a minute, I'll speed this up. Oh, that's fucking cool, dude. I want it. There has to be a code for this, right? I'm not missing it. I got no fucking head. Um. Fuck, dude. I'm out, I'm inside of the ship. Shit. Okay, I'm on something. Okay. So, for future reference, don't do what I just did. Because you might fucking end up outside in Reaper territory. Oh, can I fucking clip through? Fucking let me clip in, fucker! I can see inside of you! Why can't you let me in? Fuck. Fuck, dude! The hell do I do now? I can't even climb. Oh, no. I think I'm stuck in here forever. I can't even get out. I don't think I can clip through the walls either. I can't get out there. I'm stuck in here forever. This is what I get for clipping through the fucking wall. This is what I get. I'm completely fucking stuck in the Aurora. Unless I can swim out this side, which I'm quickly going to check, and I'm going to end off this episode if I can't. Otherwise, I'm utterly fucking stuck in this hellhole. Because I don't think there's a clipping command at all. Well, fuck me. I mean, shit, dude. I'm just fucked. I'm actually completely fucking stuck. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. I want to get out of here. Oh, please. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.